the sea, terror of the Far East, tormented in the underworld for thousands of years, feeding on nothing but their hatred, their bitterness planning their revenge. When the gates of hell open, the Kyongsi come forth, an undead army at their back, and all of Hong Kong at their mercy. That was the worst movie of all time. <laughs> Who makes up this stuff? Hey, Wei. Niece. Don't make fun of the Gyeongsi. Night like this, they might be on their way. Oh, Uncle Salty has a thing for the supernatural. Don't Uncle Salty me. This is Hong Kong. Magic crawls through this town like maggots on month-old roadkill. Uh, Uncle. Well, you see any walking corpses, you give me a call. <laughs> Yeah, give him a call, asshole. What the hell? The gates of hell are open. Damn. And the sun on ye will pay for what they've done. Stop! Hey, stop! Hey, don't let him get away. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sleeping Dogs. As you can tell, we are playing Nightmare on North Point now. Uh, and also, as you can tell, uh, Wei has apparently chosen not Ping. Uh, who is apparently old Salty Crab's niece as his girlfriend. Now, I guess that j doesn't mean that he still doesn't see the other girls. He is kind of a horn dog. Um, but yeah, so this DLC, it's all about ghosts. Uh, it's been a long time since I played it. But if I recall, it's... It is... Oh, shit. It is a couple hours. Uh, so it might be two videos instead of one, like, uh, oh, fuck what the Zodiac Tournament was. But to be fair, the Zodiac Tournament was directly, uh, related to the, uh, to the main story. Whereas this here is like a standalone thing. <clears throat> but like I said, it might not be. Oh, and he got... How the fuck did he get all the way over here? Or did I just like run in a loop? You know, that looks like Jackie. Except more tattoos. Yeah? <laughs> I like since it's technically a new game. That, uh. Oh god. Uh, since it's a new game, technically they are. Uh, they're giving me how to fight again. But look at these fuck. They're vampires, by the way. They're not zombies. Zombies, they're vampires. Fuck off. Oh. Okay, grapple while he's stunned to kill him. There we go. I was waiting for him to tell me how to kill them, because I could not for the life of me remember. Oh, fuck. I thought I got the counter that time. Boink. Yeah, go away. There we go. Uh, so there's... Uh, I want to say there's only two enemy types in this. There's these guys, which are the normal enemies, like the vampires. And then there's like big demon things that you need a sword to kill. God. Oh, there. Oh, go. There we go. Keep trying, yo. Come on, come on, get oh I don't wanna hit these Oh look at that. He's not falling Oh wait, no, never mind. That's I was like, oh he's not falling over while he's running, but no, never mind. That's uh that's Assassin's Creed. Where if you hit too many people while you're running, you just like collapse on the ground like a moron. Uh so yeah, this takes place technically after well, so does Year of the Snake. They both take place after the uh what the fuck is this guy? Huh, I don't know who that is. Um, but yeah, they both take place after the main campaign. But like I said, I think I mentioned before, I never actually played Year of the Snake before. Or if I did, I don't remember it in the slightest. Now, since it was a Sleeping Dogs DLC, I imagine I did buy it. And maybe because it never got... I, pro I think what happened with Year of the Snake was I bought it on the 360. And then didn't play it because there was no achievements on it. 
He was giving them instructions. Did he have a girl with him? Yes, he went that way. Thanks. So, this whole game, or this whole game, <laughs> this whole DLC is about getting, oh god, it's about getting not ping back. I don't know why I'm so burpy. Having, oh, there she is. I think, anyway. Once again, it has been a while since I watched, or since I played it, so, uh, for all I know, I actually rescue her here. But I don't think so. Now, these things haven't been doing much damage. I have full, as you can see, I do have two bars of health. I don't know if that's because of the main game or if that's just what you have here. Big scar. Let her go. I don't think so, Wei Shen. I heard you were stupid, but I didn't realize how much the boys were downplaying him. <laughs> Don't mind us. We have somewhere to be, but you keep going. You're probably used to playing with yourself by now. <laughs> Fuck. Uh... Oh my. <laughs> the police have a report on the vampires? Wow, look at all the possessed people. Uh, so yeah, now people are possessed. I don't... I really don't remember enough about this DLC. I don't think they turn host. No, they run away from me. Uh, I don't think I have a way of, like, if I... Oh, no. I was going to say, if I grab one, I don't think I have a way to, like, exercise them. Oh, no. Just, all right. Can knock them the fuck out, though. Oh, <laughs> nice kick, girl. Oh, God. Where is everyone? Oh, look at that. You uh, vanished into dust. Oops. Oh, I, oh, God. Speak with Vinny. Uh, Vinny's possessed. That's Highway. not good. Vincent? I, I thought you were dead. Oh, yeah. I am dead. And it's a drag, let me tell you. I've been craving noodles for I don't know how long. By the way, I, I think you've got a problem out back. What the hell is going on? I don't know. One minute I'm down there, the next I'm up here. So I thought, what the hell? Might as well grab some soup. You guys could leave an offering for a brother now and then, you know? Check out back. Hmm. <laughs> So, uh, that's the guy, if you recall the, um, serial killer case, the doctor who was killing all of, uh, the Sun on Yi for the 13k, or 18k, 18k, I think. Oh, God. Nice. Ah, here's the other enemy. Who the hell are you? Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, the Yao Gua. Hey, that's the... Uh... Yep, all right. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so I can't actually uh, do anything to this prick. No, I can't. Not really. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah. There we go. Uh huh. Run away. The old Chinese tactic of fighting demons. The runaway. All right, come on, dude. Teach me how to. Dead people are like that. He's supernatural, way. Go and see him. Ah, he's a nightmare. Now you're gonna need Chinese magic to beat him. Go see Ho Fa Wu. He's got the best magic tea in the city. Oh, are you shitting me? You just try to punch out an undead creature, huh? And you think I'm kidding? <laughs> you try to fight zombies and you think of Kane about magic? Come on. 
Oh, what the hello, hell? Vinny. I'm a ghost. I can pretty much show up anywhere. You know what's <laughs> going on? Sure. Hey, Vinny, get Smiley in. Cat is trying to take over. He's been talking about it down there since I got Thanks, killed. Man. Okay, who the fuck is Smiley Cat? I think he used to be in the Sun on Yi. From what I can tell, Uncle Poe had him whacked. Seems like he was out of control even when he was alive. The last I heard of it, he was going to enslave the 18K somehow, then use them to take over our territory. Son of a bitch. All right. So yeah, his name is Big Scar Wu, in case you missed him saying that earlier. He does not like to be called Smiley Cat. <laughs> the fact that the vampires hop around is, like, retarded. <laughs> like, oh my god. There we go. Oh, look at that. I got them both at once. Goodbye. And goodbye. So I don't think there's environmental kills on this one. Uh, hello. There we go. There we go. You need some magic? I got two for one sale today. Cool. Chase here overrunning the city. No kidding. I'm how fat Lao, not how blind Lao. You want to defeat them, you're going to need my specialty. I need three ingredients. Ghost pepper, the egg of an albino hen, and antifreeze. The good stuff, not that crap they sell on the mainland. <laughs> Be careful, Wei. The 18K are looking for this stuff too. I hear they're trying to make the tea themselves. Okay. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing that there's going to be more people able to fight the ghosts. I mean, like, I realize that we don't really care for the 18k, but, oh, Vinny's back. Isn't it a cat food? Yep. <laughs> yeah. When he was alive, his street name was Big Scar Wu. Ponytail and a couple of the other guys killed him on Uncle Poe's orders. They hit him with a car, then knifed him 42 times. They chopped up the body and put it through the grinder at the Smiley Cat processing plant. So Big Skull Wu ended up feeding house pets all over town. Ponytail yeah. didn't even put him into the high protein mix. So a lot of the cats just barfed him up afterwards. One of the enforcers who killed him got off the oh, week later. The and when he arrived down there, he told the story. So now oh. everyone calls Wu Smiley Cat. <laughs> that could be worse. They could have ground him up into fertilizer. Yep, they could have. Uh, so yeah, that's why he's a uh, big, s or not big smiley, that's a different dude. That's why he's smiley cat. I was waiting for that story. I knew it was coming soon. Where the fuck? Here we are. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's pretty bad when you get nicknamed because of how you died, right? Like, where the hell is the way up? Here we are. Like, it's bad enough that you died, but then, oh, like, apparently I can't make that jump. How the fuck do I go up there? Can I run through this building? Nope. Uh, I mean, this is where it told me to go. Oh, there's a table there. Okay. I didn't see that. I'm blind. Oh, come on. Wait. Find a way to the ghost pepper. Okay. I mean, isn't there like a market somewhere? Although I guess that is where they would, where the 18K would probably hey, look. Leave my pepper alone. No. Goodbye. Oh. Come on. It's just a pepper. There we go. Boom. So once again, I don't know if they are possessing the people or if it's like... Because like Vinny said that he just came back from there, which means he just straight up ghost. Not possessed by vampire. But the rest of these people, I have no idea, because that seems like a lot. Although, I guess you do. There's probably a lot of civilian casualties throughout the game. Oh. Sorry, shop closed. I need the egg of an albino head. Right away. <laughs> ah, you want to fight Chang Shi? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. See those kids? Punks keep tagging my storefront. Teach them a lesson, and the egg is yours. Really? Wow. What do you want? Hey, look at it. People. Normal, everyday people. What a nice change of pace. Now, I wonder, do I get my... Oh, look at that. Oh, I do have my fighting styles when, you know, they're not vampires. Although, I should probably see if that works on the vampires. If that stuns them immediately. Ah, uh, that's why we need somebody special for it. I was like, how hard could it be to mix three ingredients together? But... I guess if it has to be done right. I imagine there's more to it and like that's just Damn the stuff that he's missing. Like that. <laughs> right, you scared 
the shit out of me. Hey, I said I was sorry. It's hard being dead, man. People didn't like me much when I was alive. But this is so much worse. Nobody lighting candles for me. Nobody making offerings. I never used to take that shit seriously. Turns out, it matters, man. It really matters. All right, all right, I'm sorry, okay? Yeah, it's not your fault. Hell, you're the first live person I talked to who didn't run away screaming. Yeah, well, I'm in a car. Nowhere for me to go, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You were always a... What's 18K doing here? Well, I mean, they want antifreeze. And they want to die. See now, if I had my Batmobile, I could light them up like it was nobody's business. Because that's what I did. Oh, I wonder, do cars work on vampires? I mean, I doubt it, but... Ah, fuck it. I want to see if my other thing works. Let's see. Does my knee work? Nope. Oh, wow. Okay, so the car doesn't work... Precisely. But it does, uh... Come on, get out of there. But I guess it does weaken them. Ow, fuck off. Bullshit. Vampire teleporting. Oh, nope. Oh my, that was weird. <laughs> I, I do like how they get up, though. They do the whole, like, vampire just stand up from, a, uh, from laying down. So in case you haven't noticed, as you can maybe see, when I grab them, my fist turns like a little bit of blue fire. That's uh, going to be explained right... Where the fuck is antifreeze? Oh, it's a, this giant blue thing? Sure, why not? But I guess that's what they keep antifreeze in one. I don't fucking know. Well, good to know that everything... So... Wait, mentioned the Hughes in a cart. <laughs> uh, so I wonder if Vinny will show up even if Wait isn't in a car. Like if. Um, so like if you just run to those locations, I don't know why you ever would. But if you do, I wonder if Vinny still shows up like that, or if it changes what Wait says. And I have the moldy rest blood waiting for the pepper. Give me a second to get the antifreeze ready. Trying to poison me? Idiot. Most Chinese magic based on antifreeze. <laughs> Trust me, this will work. Jiang Shi will be at your mercy. If you think maybe you're going blind, see a doctor, but only after defeating Jiang Shi. Aha. Now I am full of magic. So this is now my face meter. Uh <laughs> when you load up the game it says face doesn't mean anything when you're facing hey, the forces of the undead. I mean, I could go for some noodles. I haven't eaten yet today. It is quarter after nine, though, so, you know, it's not too bad. Just got up. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, now instead of the face meter, I have that, which I guess... Alright. Which I guess is more or less my face meter. And, uh... There's two ways to... Yep, it did. I got it. Sure to work. How could you been mad at that? I'll kill worse things than you. Yeah, well, if I go blind, I'm blaming you. <laughs> so, if I remember, I still... Oh, I can't actually hit him. But it's the same logic as the face meter. I just have to keep doing shit, and eventually it'll fill up. But once it fills up, I can actually hurt the... Uh, demon now I think I want to say that the two ways yeah see and then I can insta kill the uh, the uh, vampire things boink man I still can't oh there we go ah ow get off fucking vampires oh shit it ran out because the vampire grabbed me On, get him! Damn it! Uh, mixing up your fighting style and that does help with your face meter, but uh, fuck off! Come on! There it is. All right. 
So I don't know. Does that kill him? Oh, look at that. It does too. Uh, so yeah, not only does it kill those guys, or let you kill those guys, um, as you can tell, it does way more damage to these guys. Oh, come on. Way you are in the counter stance. And... Oh, there we go. And boom. But there is, it's like a Peachwood sword or something. The Hell Shrines and the demons have spawned around North Point. Yeah. Uh, so this whole DLC takes place in North Point. I think something's up at the waterfront. You should go check it out. Okay. So there are collectibles in this. Oh, God damn it. I think it's just one type, the Hell Shrines. Uh, so, oh yeah, I guess that would just be that, right? And then there are achievements tied to, I think, defeating a certain number of these. And a certain number of the bigger demons. Now, the bigger demons, I think, are limited in their spawns. Like, uh, as in there's only so many of them. And you can actually go around and take them all out. And most of them, I think, you take out, like, the sword. Like, the special sword that's meant to kill them. It's like the, it's like a peachwood sword or some shit like that. Wow, that one guy is just standing there. Watching me beat on his... Well, I was going to say friends, but... Let's see, does it work? Oh, it does too! Look at that! My sneak attacks work. Nice. Well, <clears throat> so I will do a collectible guide for those two things. Assuming, well, at least the one, at least the Hell Shrines. Because, oh yeah, see, look, here's the swords. The Peachwood Sword. Hey, I was right. And then this here's a Hell Shrine. Um, so I'm going to see, let's see, because how long have we been going? 23 minutes? Yeah. I'm going to see if I can change my outfit. Yeah. Oh, nope. Don't have any custom ones. And that's the only one of those I got. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, look at that. I get a few different ones. I can get the suit. Now, let's get the t-shirt going. Pants are fine. What kind of shoes I got? Cozy Assassins. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's wear those. I think that's what I was already wearing. Baseball cap, trucker hat, Panama hat. Let's see. Yeah, I'll wear those ones. Ah. Slapping. <laughs> yeah, fuck it then. Alright, there we go. Okay, so you know what? Since it is collectibles and it will very much help and I don't know if this thing will be more than one video I'm going to take a short breather here to go around and get all the collectibles so I will be right back And we are back. Now, as you just saw there, I did bring a sword with me. Uh, I went and got one. Now, the reason I did that was because just in case the demon shows up. Because if you have the Peachwood sword... Uh, oh, God, I didn't actually realize it. Okay, well, I guess everything is good. So let's see. Still an insta-kill? I mean, I imagine so, because it would get rid of their earthly bodies. 
Now is that a- oh it is a multi-use, fuck yeah. Burning the fires of earth. Uh, but yeah, if you have the Peachwood Sword, you don't need your face meter to be full to, uh, oh, damage the... Let's go. Oh, shit. Didn't want to leave you to fight them alone. Uh, yeah, you drive. I got bad hands. Go ahead. <laughs> sure, sure. Damn it, sorry, don't I do it. Don't fuck. This demon really means business. I was really yeah. hoping that, uh, I could pick up my That's sword before sure. I got in the car. I didn't want to use it to fight the guys, because the sword, just like every other weapon in the game, has limited uses. Uh, using it to fight anything but the big demons is a little worthless. Uh, just purely because of you can beat up the other things without your face meter active. Whereas with the demon, oh god. That also happens just randomly as you drive around, just cars will explode for no reason. Yeah, I know, Peachwood Sword. Oh god. Alright. So yeah, there are Peachwood swords uh, all over the place. Generally, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, the vampires go down pretty easy. But anyway, yeah, there's Peachwood swords all over the place. Uh, there is only the one collectible, by the way. Just the Hell Shrines. Uh, already got the... Hmm, I just actually recorded the... Uh, guide for it in between when I said I was leaving and when I, and then when I started up the cutscene there. Uh, not too bad, only 10 of them. Uh, not going to do anything for the swords because they are all over the place. And every time you find one, I think every time anyway, uh, it automatically spawns oh, a demon there. There they are. You coming? Of course not. Take them out, way. Go! Yep. And, uh... Uh, oh god, what the fuck was I saying? Oh right, every time you find a Peachwood Sword, it automatically summons a demon, like one of the bigger guys to fight, and there's... Oh really? And uh, there is an achievement for getting five gold uh, stat awards, which is very similar to the one it's on, it's on the main game, which is 30, which is, I think, all of them. Uh, there's only five in this one, so you gotta max out all five. There's a couple that are annoying and kind of grindy. Throw a Jinxie into energy source to stop their number. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha. I think there's some of these around, too. Oh, come on. Get over there. And... Kaboosh. So, there is... Oh, God. So there's actually that is another one, which is avoiding a bite. You gotta wait for them to try and grab you and try and bite you. Now, they have different animations, different attacks, but it's only the one that will get you the award. And it's super fucking annoying to get. Uh -huh. Oh look, there's the sword. Oh, come on. I'd have killed- Really? Are you kidding me? Do you know how many people fucking tried to kill me? Oh. Nope. Okay, good. Uh, but yeah, there's one for defeating the Yao Guai. Just 20 of them, I think. And then there is one for defeating 15 of them with the Peachwood Sword. Which is why I say it's kind of worthless to use the Peachwood Sword on anything but them. Because while it does kill the vampires easy, easier, oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, come on, help, uh, you need it for the stat awards. So generally, I throw it away if all I have is to fight as vampires. Because as you t can tell right there, when you fight the demons, they usually have, or well, not usually, unless you're fighting one that was spawned by picking up the sword. Oh, look at that, I actually set him on fire. So that's what the Hell Shrines do, by the way, is they have a chance with your heavy attacks to set them on fire and just kill them. You think I care? You think I'm impressed? Where is she? You have bigger problems than her, you shit. Nobody messes with Big Scar Woo and gets away with it. Never heard of him, smiley cat. <laughs> Who better 
to destroy a triad in its own members. But then, you knew that already, didn't you, Officer Shen? <laughs> Look at them still raging on the ground. Uh, so, yeah, demons have spawned around North Point. Yep. Yeah. Report on the beach. I don't know who's giving me these reports. Clean out the rats. All right, so now revenge times two and clean out the rats. So revenge times two is, as you saw there, he just summoned uh, ponytail, dog eyes, and rat face. So revenge times two, I'm assuming, is dog eyes, and this is rat face, obviously. And then I'll probably have to fight ponytail again. But there are favors, quote unquote favors, just rescuing people and there are portals so like there's a yao gui here that means that there's just going to be a demon there with a bunch of backup mm -hmm. and then there's the Jiangxi street that means that there's going to be one of those portals that i have to throw them into i'm not gonna i'll show you one of each uh and then after that any that i oh god any that i find i will be doing off camera because it's just going to be the same and uh yeah, so I actually already did two favors. I wasn't going to show any of them. Uh, but I figured, hey, you may as well see what it is. It's not like it's oh God, all that special. Especially if you have a sword already. Uh, then make sure that you bring it to these things. Because it doesn't matter. Like I said, there's the stat award for destroying 20 Yao Gui. There it is. You can also kill the vampires with cars and just straight up damage. You don't actually need to exercise them the way uh, the game teaches you with B. Aha. Come on. Oh god, camera, camera, camera. Doesn't matter. Got him dead. Uh, so yeah, like if you go to the Yaogui portals, this is what they are. They're, it starts with just four of these guys, but obviously if... Uh, did I get him? Yep, I did. Aha. Uh, but obviously if I just started killing them and I, I, the more the demons alive, the more these guys spawn because without the sword, which there's no guarantee of at this location, right? Um, oh God, that's really loud. And every time you do one, it seems to unlock a new outfit. I didn't remember it did that, but even the favors, it's been unlocking just the fighting out, like the Kung Fu movie outfits for me. Uh, so I don't know if I'll get more outfits than that, but, you know, whatever. Alright, where's that, uh, Jang Shi one right here? Also, I think it, they, they call it, I don't know, I thought that they were Zhang Shi, Shi, Zhang Shi, because that's generally how you pronounce, you know, J-I-A, I thought. Um, but they, they say it like Gang Shi, which, I don't know. I would have to assume that theirs is right, but it just seems weird to me. Because every other time where I've saw that J-I-A, it's always been like Zhang, not... Well, I think every time I've seen it, it's been Zhang, actually. I don't think I've seen it all on top of any other words. Uh, but there's also just the vampires just around the city. Uh, the easiest way to find like the swords and shit is to run around Oh, hold it. Oh, God. Is to run around and, uh... Oh, God. Oh. Come on, there we go. And look for enemy markers on the map, because if you get... Oh, fuck. Get off. Because if you get a blip on the map and you don't see any of the vampires here around... Oh, yeah, that's when we had a... Because I remember... Trying to grind out the vampire bite. Oh, dude, you actually get a sword if you do one of those portals. That's neat. Because, uh, yeah, one of the ways to do it is to grapple them. Because if they if they knock away your grapple, then they'll immediately try to uh, grab you. Hey, I got the blast. I got a car for that one. That's neat. It's also... Why are there cars in the alleyway? I've never seen any NPC in this game drive down the alleys. Which I realize shouldn't be such a big deal, but it is. Alright, so let's see. There are another two things there. So I will go clear them out and be back with the uh, 
next mission. All right, and we are back hunting Ratface. So I cleared out both other areas, got myself a new Peachwood sword. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, so yeah, first up, Johnny Ratface. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Haha, ninja! <laughs> Johnny. Come here, Johnny. You bitch. Aiming and shooting. Or I can just run past them because they suck. Nope. Oh, oh god, this one's gonna hurt. That's a lot of guys to run through. Aha! Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> Screw taking care of your guys. Nope. You're still a little bitch. Or did they just get sick of you and <laughs> Oh, it's about to be. Oh, God. Yeah? Well, that's a shame, because you know what? I've been defeating whole armies of demons for breakfast. Oh, fuck. I missed the, uh... Yeah, that's how you grind out that one gold medal, is just to grab them and hope that they do that, and then you can... There we go. Do that. So basically you grab them and wait for them to, uh, I don't remember if there's something more specific to do, uh, or not. I think that's all you do. Yeah, fuck off, Johnny. I'm busy with your backup dancers here. Johnny Ratface and the Jangshi Vampires. Yep, saw that coming. And there goes that one. Aha, now all you have left is your view. And I still have a Peachwood sword, so <laughs> I can fucking annihilate you. <laughs> and you know what? Fuck it. Now I have a new one. Oh, demons have spawned around North Point again. Oh no. That's fine, there we go. New one. Hey, let's see how many more portals and shit have spawned. I see one. Uh, that's all I see is the one, and it's along the way. The... Uh, really? That's it? Just... Yeah, well, whatever. Alright. So I will go grab that one, and then be back once we're at Revenge Times 2. Alright, and we are back, and I'm assuming hunting dog eyes. Dog eyes uh, is a yep. way. He's even more obnoxious than he was before. I find that hard to believe. You think he's going to make more jokes about banging my sister? Went so well for him last time. Oh, nice. They got a fire barrel. Oh, there he is. Yeah? Do I, though? Do I really? Look at this. See? Just got rid of my weapon. Why? Because I don't fucking need it for you little bitches. Ow, ow, ow. And there it is. Haha. -ha. My cleaver now. And jink. Still love that it's an, still an insta-kill even when they're possessed. Now, didn't somebody else have a kitchen? Oh, there it is. Ow. Jink. Now, do they? Do you think that they're going to want me to uh, shoot here as well? Because I have a feeling I can still just run past them. Oh, nope, I cannot. Oh, no. Oh, there's another portal. Go figure. Nope. Ah. Oh, uh, oh, god damn it. I once again missed the fact that he, uh, got, like, he knocked me off of my grab. I noticed that those boxes are lighting up, so I wonder, <laughs> can I kill the vampires by throwing them into glass, too? Nope. Come on. And there's the last one of them. I need in there. Oh, nope. Aha. Uh -huh. Caught it that time. The best part about counters is if you have your face meter active, I think they're an insta kill. They do seem to take a lot of your bar though. I got a lot of uh, dodging bites there. Where's my sword? I need my sword before I follow dog eyes. Or find dog eyes. I'm not going anywhere without my sword. You never know when asshole's going to summon something worse than the demon. No, oh, you're not. Killed you once, I'll kill you. Oh, fuck. Kill him, boy. 
Aha, see, look at this here is why I brought the sword. Nope, fuck you. I don't stop it. Aha, uh -huh, that one guy missed. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I kicked his hat at him. That's awesome. Ow. God, he's fucking... Okay, well, I broke my sword. So I have a feeling that I can't actually, uh... Take him out. But, until I kill these guys, anyway. Oh, and... Yeah, there we go. You? You want some? Oh, that's what I thought. Get shit all over, vampire bitch. You wanna suck my blood? How about you suck my dick instead? <laughs> Fucking infinite insta-kills, man. Fucking fantastic. Yeah, come on, dog eyes. You can do better than that. Although, you did... How hard was the fight against you again? I don't remember it being all that difficult. It's almost like you sucked. <laughs> yes. Gonna burn out my eyes, are ya? I don't fucking think so. Burn out yours. It burns. Burn up here, burn down there. <laughs> Report on hell money. Demons have spawned around North. So I don't know if there's a way to, um, like I've already done the guide anyway, but I don't know. Oh, I don't have a sword anymore though. Shit. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find one. I don't know if there's a way to actually get the hell shrines on your map or not. Here, let me check. Uh, why are you throwing money in the hell money achievement? Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe like after you beat it or something they do. Uh, but whatever, already got them. Ghost of the Past, I'll be Ponytail. Let's see, there's Jiangxi Garage. So I'll do that. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. This might be, because uh, it has a favorite, it doesn't have the other thing. So this might be the last type of side objective here. So I'll show you this one. Because yeah, see this one here. There we go is that has a person strung up. Now, all the people strung up that I've found so far have been like those possessed people that are just walking around everywhere. Cause there are people that aren't possessed uh, walking around. But so far the couple that, uh, that I did for favors have all been possessed. There we go, that's better. So I don't know if like, hey, bite me or not. I'll just do that instead. But hey, you, bite me. That's not a bite. Ah, eh, fuck it. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if they're like... Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I figured that they would be like people I knew or something. Uh, you still get a sword for it, which is nice. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. You would have thought that they would have made it, it was so that it was, like, people that you knew that you were rescuing, maybe? But it's not. Which is weird, because, like, it doesn't... Maybe they didn't want to bring in too many of the voice actors from before. Also, there is achievements for Year of the Snake. So, either there was no achievements on the 360 for it, or... I did play it, or I... Because I honestly, it's something about cultists during the Chinese New Year, apparently. I have, I have no recollection of that. I need to, I think what I need to do is check my uh, 360 profile, or to check my 360 achievements in this game. And see if like I'm missing, like, I think there was like five achievements for it. <laughs> Just leave this right here, because why not? For this shit, Ponytail took the club, man. Of course. Yeah, that's what I heard. If you talk him into it. Yeah, I mean, he's not really my biggest fan because it's kind of me who killed him and sent him to hell. So, you know, 
Oh, no, look at that. He got another guy strung up. Okay. Rescue the trapped civilian. All right, let's see. Can I insta-kill the vampires on the speakers? Apparently. Boom. So this thing keeps coming up. Unsatisfied hunger. I think it's for being in combat with the vampires. Um, I had one that was uh, glitched out. Like I hit it with my car and it ended up like bouncing up onto like a ledge that I couldn't actually get to. And uh, the timer came up as like I did the flying kick there to hit it. I like managed to clip its leg and it started the timer for it. So technically I could have sat there for like ever because technically I was in combat. Even though there was absolutely nothing that was going on. Because like... Yeah? Oh, I don't think so. Now, can I grapple e Oh, fuck. Either one of you guys. Oh, assholes. Yes, I can. Good. Doink. Doink. And boom. But you... Oh, look at that. I can grapple you too. You know what? Let's take you over to a sink. Because I never... I don't know what the sink one is. Probably very similar. Ah, well, that was lame. Go to VIP. Well, of course I had to go to the VIP. I don't know why I went to the bouncers anyway. Not only were they not possessed and perfectly human, uh, they had no reason to help. Oh, well, I guess no, because if I was in controller club, bam, bam, right? Although, I don't know. It's weird, this DLC. What kind of name is that? Hmm. You humans have the most fucked up names. You know, I'd have to agree with you. This never ends. Nope, it doesn't. Sorry, man, but you pissed me off. I'm coming back for you in every life you have. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, that was fucking fast. I should use the... Uh... Oh, wow. Man, this sword is awesome. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I broke it. That's fine. Oh, he was already stunned. I'm gonna cut you up and feed you to the fish. You'll be stuck here, Ponytail. Just another powerless hungry ghost. You shit, Chen. Or you tell me how to beat Smiley Cat. Then I'll send you back to where you belong. <laughs> Even in death, you break balls. Burn him. Burn the body. What body? You ground him up for cat food. <laughs> Most of him. Uncle Po had me save Wu's pinky finger to guarantee he'd get no rest in the afterlife. Where oh, that's why his ghost doesn't have his pinky. It's in a red face at the temple in North Point, where we used to swear in new members. Burn it, and you'll be able to send him back. I'll see you in hell, Wei Shen! I think we're almost done then. Like, on it, seriously, I think we're almost done. I don't think there's too many. Oh, more demons. Pet cemetery. I sent back the three dickheads. So, you know what? Let me check. Here. I can have banished smiley cat and all secondary content. Five, and complete end. Yeah, so yeah, there's only one more achievement. And, you know, smiley cat, that's the last boss. So the fact that his name is on the mission that I'm going for. Leads me to believe that, you know what? Might be the last mission. So there is a Jiangxi Street there. That's awesome. Because then I can pick up another Peachwood Sword along the way. So I will be back as soon as I get there. Yeah, all okay. right. So I'm back a little early. As you saw, I just got an achievement pop there to complete all secondary content. So. Definitely the last mission, since every mission I've been doing has unlocked, you know, more side stuff to do. Yeah, I'd have a feeling this is the last one. So, I'd say, when I before I started this, I looked it up to see, you know, it's like, how long to beat? It's a great website, you should check it out. Really, well, it doesn't really help me too much. Uh, should I help? Nah, I'm sure the monks have got it. <laughs> Although it did count me in combat. 
That's fine. They're monks. They can fucking take them, right? Maybe not Smiley Cat, but they can take the rest. Now, I wonder if I came here earlier. I doubt it. Good for you. And also, why do you want revenge against me? Oh, wow. There's a lot of... Oh, right. Because I have the gongs and everything. Nope. Too bad. Oh, God. That's right. So I have been getting a few counter bites there, which is good. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. I'll still have quite a bit of grinding to do afterwards, but, you know, oh well. So that means I get another sword here, too. Wow. I figured that, you know, they kept spawning shit in between so that I could get swords. And then, like, every mission, they fucking make me close a portal, which gives me a sword anyway. Which is nice, I guess, you know, it saves me the trouble of getting one, but... Oh. I mean... Oh, there we go. Your sister waits for you in hell, Wei Shen. Come with me. Say hello. I don't know, Wei sister. So I can't comment on whether or not uh, she's in hell. Aha, uh -huh. counter this, bitch. Haha, uh -huh, eh? Haha, uh -huh. there we go. That was easy. Man, these swords are strong. Like, fuck me, are they powerful? Oh, what's this? More. More ghoulies. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh shit, there's another portal. Shit, didn't realize that. So that means I get another sword? I already have. I brought one with me. Oh, fuck off. Uh, and then they gave me another one almost immediately. And now they're giving me another one after defeating one enemy. Jesus Christ, there's so many swords and they're so powerful. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh my god, I love the swords in here. It's like this DLC uh, makes up for how shitty weapons are in the main game. But to be fair, I guess if the enemies were this annoying, well I say annoying to defeat. I guess they kind of are just as annoying to defeat in the main game, but like, after you get your fighting moves like the stun strike counter up and shit, uh, it's super easy to destroy them, whereas these guys here, you can't use any of those really. Yeah, I'll just kick you away for a second and doink, oh, there we go. Like I said, super fucking easy with the sword. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god, there's two of them. Yeah. Got one. And there's two. And it used up my sword, but hey, who cares? I have more! <laughs> also, I like how they still came with these dickheads. Even though there's like, no way that you don't have a sword at this point. Like, you... I don't know how long the sword lasts, but I can't help but feel like it lasts long enough to, uh... Oh, wow. Alright. Maybe not. It's fine, though. I still have the other one. Here, I'm gonna throw you in a pot, because that'll obviously... I'll throw you in the water. That all... Oh, really? Why? Why so many? Oh, no. You don't get to bite me. Go away. Uh, did my sword go away? It's floating broken there. I feel like that's not good. Uh. Hello, sword. Nope, it's gone. Fuck. Damn it, I should have picked it up and dropped it probably. Because that happened to m another sword that I had before. Oh, what's that though? There's something over here. A uh, little, nope, I don't know what that is then. I should probably focus on Smiley Cat while I'm all flamed up. Oh, fuck off. And goodbye. Oh, was that it? Aha! Fuck you, smiley cat, you're a bitch. Yeah, I saved not ping. Right? Still don't know what her name is. Is he gone? Not quite. Oh. Back to hell. That should be last to smiley cat. No! No! 
Oh, he brought Vincent some noodles. Enjoy it, old friend. Shall we finish that date? Oh, yes. <laughs> Such a stupid enemy. <laughs> so is Smiley Cat really gone? Or did he possess Not Ping? Who we still never learned the name of, even though we saved her from demons. So that was the entirety of the Nightmare North Point DLC. Uh, the Jang Shi hat usable in the main story. Oh, I get the vampire's hat. Woohoo. Who does this before the... Yeah, whatever. So yeah, now all I have left in this is the stat awards. We'll go take a check, quick look at them, see how I did. Uh, I need 200 vampires destroyed. I have 81. That's a lot. I need 20 of the Yao Gui. I got 12. Not bad. I need 15 with the sword, and I got 11. Really good. Hard to get. Uh, 100 bites avoided. I avoided 32. And of course, I got all of the Hell Money Shrines. So, alright, a lot of fucking grinding in this DLC, but overall, really fun DLC. If you don't care about achievements or stat awards, well, that's fine. You'll still enjoy the DLC, it'll be really quick for you, because I think it should be under an hour. Should maybe even be quicker than the uh, Zodiac DLC. So, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.